There are a multitude of YouTubes discussing the topic of preoperative instructions or guidelines for a dental implant procedure. However, the reason that you've come to this educational platform is to learn about the crucial information that no one else is sharing with you and that is vital for you to make the correct decision based on your best interest at heart. I'm an implantologist with 30 years of clinical experience and I've placed and restored 16,000 implants. In this video, we will discuss the important factors such as how to determine if a patient is suitable candidate for dental implants, the creation of a personalized treatment plan, the potential risks of infection and the importance of a clean surgical site. And finally, we will provide our confidential and detailed pre-operative instructions for patients undergoing dental implant surgery to ensure smooth sailing through this process. A goal is to discern the truth from the media hype and present you with scientifically backed information. Your time is precious and your health is invaluable. Thank you for investing your time with us. Prior to dental implant procedure, your dentist should provide you with a specific preoperative instruction tailored to your individual case. However, here are some common pre-op instructions that are typically followed before a dental implant procedure. The workflow and workup of a dental implant treatment begins with a consultation and treatment planning. Typically, the patient is scheduled for a consultation with a dentist to discuss their specific dental needs and to determine if you are a suitable candidate for dental implants. Your dentist will perform a thorough examination, including x-rays or digital scans to evaluate your oral health bone structure and your overall suitability for the procedure. And we have discussed the topic of 3D x-rays in great length and in episode 3 of the patient information series. Next, a treatment plan will be developed based on your individual needs, including the number of implants that are required, any necessary extractions or bone grafting procedures, and the type of restoration such as crown, bridge or a denture. And we have also educated you on this topic in the crucial episode number four of the patient education series. I will provide the link to both of these episodes below. Like in any surgical procedure, a surgical site needs to be as clean as possible to prevent post-operative infections. But this is especially important in the mouth because the reality is in plain language is that the science of the oral environment shows that on average saliva typically contains around about a thousand to a hundred thousand bacteria per milliliter. In patients that maintain good oral hygiene and overall good health, that number could be close to a thousand. Whereas patients that have not maintained optimal oral health or unfortunately have a poor overall health, that number will be closer to a hundred thousand, a significant difference. Therefore, please address any existing dental issues such as tooth decay, gum disease or infections before the implant procedure to ensure healthy environment and optimal outcomes. And your dentist may recommend professional teeth cleaning or other necessary treatments to, be, to optimize your oral health before the implant procedure. A medical evaluation is key because the mouth is only part of your entire human meat body and it is fundamental to inform your dentist about your complete medical history, including any underlying health conditions, medications that you are taking and allergies you may have. And if there are any red flags, your dentist may consult your physician in regards to this. If you have specific medical concerns or conditions that could impact the implant procedure or the healing process, this will require more consultation. It is also essential that you inform your dentist about any medications, supplements, or even herbal remedies that you are taking. And by way of example, Onica is a natural remedy derived from the Onica Montana plant. And it is often used topically in creams and gels and ointments to treat bruises, swelling, and minor injuries. However, the science has shown that Onica has blood thinning properties increasing the risk of intraoperative and postoperative bleeding. And the science has also reported an increased bleeding or delayed wound healing in some individuals who used Onica products after their implant surgery. If you are a smoker, your dentist will obviously strongly encourage you to quit and at least or at least temporarily abstain from smoking 
as it can significantly impair healing and increase the risk of implant failure and avoid consuming alcohol, obviously, for a period specified by your dentist before the implant procedures, as this can affect blood clotting and interact with the anesthesia or medications that he prescribes. If a sedation or general anesthesia is going to be part of your implant treatment, your dentist will instruct you of how to fast for a certain duration before the procedure, typically for a few hours. And I always remind patients to have a chaperone to arrange transport to and from the dental office on the day of the procedures, as obviously sedation and anesthesia may impair your ability to drive safely. It is important to carefully follow your dentist's pre-op instructions to ensure the success of the dental implant procedure and minimize the risk of complications. By way of an actionable example, here is a synopsis of the pre-operative instructions that we provide to our patients over the past three decades who are undergoing implant surgery. Under local anesthesia, I want to emphasize under local anesthesia, the first is to dress warm and comfortable and the aircon is going to obviously be on and it can get quite cold during the surgery and please ensure that you make your feet warm. Have a good meal and come with a full stomach prior to surgery. In my experience, patients often feel out of sorts if they haven't had a meal or have they skipped a meal prior to surgery. Have salt and ice packs and black tea bags on hand when you arrive home. Have a raised pillow on hand when you arrive home. I advise my patients to sleep the first night with a raised pillow, which helps the lymphatic drainage and prevents swelling. Do not plan rigorous exercise on the day of the surgery. Pick your medical script 24 hours prior to the surgery. Uh, one of the items on the script will be chlorhexidine digluconate mouthwash, which does not stain your teeth. And I always ask my patients to double check with a pharmacist that they have not provided you with chlorhexidine gluconate, which can stain your teeth if you use it for more than five days. I will provide the link to the correct mouthwash in the description below. Our patients start their antibiotics and diazepam, which is a medication used to keep you calm and relaxed, the evening before the surgery. And they take this again on the day of the surgery with their breakfast. And finally, you will be surprised as to how painless an implant is. But in case you do swell, and in my experience, about 10% of patients have a bit of post-operative swelling, then use the ice pack that you have on hand and keep it in the swollen area for half an hour on and for half an hour off for as long as it is practicable. And generally, the swelling subsides after 48 hours. If you find the content of this video valuable, we encourage you to like and subscribe to help us expand this educational platform. Remember the path to good health lies in evidence-based scientific research.